Hey my little peachy roonies and welcome back to another episode of our Disney princess challenge with little Tiana. Today I'm gonna experiment, we're gonna try and turn them into frogs temporarily. So that's gonna be a bunch of fun. I've also added um, a mod to be able to do that. Also a mod that you guys have recommended which will allow me to cook Louisiana food in The Sims. Louisiana, that's right, isn't it? It's pretty important for Tiana because she's a chef and I want her to be able to cook food that's from New Orleans. New Orleans? New Orleans? New Orleans? New Orleans? I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I'm giving it a bit shot each time. And the other thing I'm gonna do real quickly is I am gonna add the antagonist of Disney Princess and the Frog. Here he is. Let's go ahead and add him. I am gonna add one that is specifically a Clash of Princess one, which is by Neon and Crumb. Neon and Chrome potentially here. I like that they've made it um, a vampire because like he does have this like evil voodoo side so we've kind of got a little bit of that with him as well. He is the one that is gonna go ahead and change them into frogs so he's just gonna pop up real quick in order to do that and in order to be able to change them into frogs I need to give him the warlock trait so let's go ahead and make him a warlock so that he can use the toadifying spell. I've downloaded the witches and warlocks mod to allow me to do this. I used it for my witches series but we will be bringing him along to go ahead and curse pop Prince Naveen and Port Tiana in today's episode. So if you guys are excited, please give this video a big cheeky thumbs up. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a little share and comment below what you want to see in the next episode. And let's get right to it. Where my ladies are, here they are. They're obviously at the party. Tiana just got her beautiful makeover. So let's go play with them and let's get turned into frogs. So here she is looking all absolutely beautiful. Now the thing is, when she first talks to Naveen, he is already a frog. So what I will have to do real quickly is go ahead and froggify him. Have we still got a dinner party going on? Oh wow, uh, he's pa Alexander's passed out at the dinner party. These guys are just doing some kind of press up competition. I'm not really sure what's going on. The party is taking a strange turn. I will just pet it that way. But while those guys are out partying, underneath the tree out here, I've added him to the family temporarily just so we can go ahead and cast the spell. Look how like bizarre he looks. He's a pretty bizarre looking character anyway. <gasps> oh my gosh, he already knows them all. This is it. Renee Metamorphosis. Oh my gosh, have these got new names? I don't remember these having the names they do. But we're gonna go ahead and turn poor Prince Naveen into a frog and obviously, ooh, 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 it's, it's not a very nice confrontation, which is fair. Nobody wants to be turned into a frog, I wouldn't say. <gasps> Here we go. It's frog time for Naveen. And then once he is a frog, he obviously mistakes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's actually, oh wow. Delphine, who, why have you changed these ugly clothes? There you go, in your beautiful queen dress. But apparently, Grenouille, am I pronouncing that right? Grenouille, sorry, Grenouille. Grenouille. Uh, that's my French. It went very Italian at the end there. Who looks pretty angry, probably because his son is now an amphibian. Grenouille means frog in French, you guys were saying in the comments below. Pretty clever, but here we go. We have a frogtastic Prince Naveen there. So I'm gonna go ahead and also add him to the family. We'll remove you again, friend. You can leave the family now. Get out of my family. But there we go, Prince Naveen. So have you heard him? Looking super, super froggy. Now the problem is he is gonna go ahead feeling very flirty you know because he's is french and he's a, a, a frog so you know kind of makes sense he's got him frogged himself his way up there he's toadified he's miserable about the fact that he's toadified and tiana hates frogs so when she comes out the first thing she wants to do and she does this in the movie she tries to hit him with the broom and squish him into a frog paste because she is actually just completely spooked out by frogs altogether you didn't even need to scare her just your face alone is definitely enough to scare her but he is also like i need you to kiss me to break this spell. The only way I can be a human man again is if you kiss me. I think only the reason that she heard the human voice is probably the only reason why she trusted him. But poor little Tiana is gonna have to go ahead and kiss this frog. Just a quick, a quick little peck on the cheek, okay? Ask for a healing kiss. No freaking way. No way is this a real thing. Ask for a healing kiss. Oh, when life just lines up and the mods line up and the sims line up and it's like, it's like the Orion spell in my game right now. Oh, she's like, ew, no, I'm not gonna kiss you. So he's gonna have to butter her up a little bit. Like, look, I promise you, I promise you, I am, I am the man. I am the man. I am the man. I am not actually a grenouille. I'm not really a froggo, okay? Okay, he's talking to her about flies because that is like top tier froggo behavior. And he's like, like, please, 
Please, can you stop me from being a frog? Please give me a kiss. And she said no again. She literally just so disgusted by this. She's like, I'm not kissing a frog. If you remember the very first scene, she's like actually completely grossed out by frogs. You're gonna have to try a little bit harder than this, Naveen. Oh my gosh, look at this. When I ask for healing kiss, look what her response is. Refuse it immediately. It is too much like the film. She's too savage when it comes to frogs. I can't get her to kiss him. Okay, I'm getting him to try and butter up even more. Trying really hard to convince her. I'm not gonna lie though. If I was opposite this and it was like, please, please kiss me. I promise I'm not really a frog. I would be freaked out. Okay, are you still gonna refuse him immediately? What is wrong with you? You're so mean. What about if I just do it as like a first kiss just so that it's actually a kiss to make the spell release, okay? That's the only reason we're doing this. It is just to release the spell. And pretend that she's like disgusted looking. She's like, eh, this is horrible. This is horrible. But of course, because she is not a princess, the curse is also gonna pass. Oh my god. Pass on to her and she is a frog as well. This sounds really wrong, but I do feel like I should take their clothes off so that they look fully froggy. There's something about a frog in a frock that's just a little bit weird to me. So I'm gonna put them both into a new household <laughs> and create a frog outfit. Okay, let's see. Obviously they're frogs now and they have to ribbit themselves away from the party because it's dangerous being a little froggo at a party. So I'm just gonna go send them to an empty lot. Okay, so here they are, hopped away from the party. Let's go ahead and make them fully frog -tastic. Oh my gosh, this is low-key kind of disturbing. <laughs> This is sort of hilarious. Okay. Oh, she's still got the froggy boobs on. Uh, you did not wear a bra as a froggo. Uh, I don't know what to do about that. I can't take a bra off. Should I just give her like um, a green bikini top? I think that's probably going to be like the best idea, right? Maybe I just give her a frog bikini. No, I'll do this and this. I don't know why this is cracking me up so much, but it is. Oh my gosh, look at their feet. <laughs> They've still got human feet. Okay, he does have boxes on. The frogginess just go over his boxes, but it doesn't go over hers. I don't know, kind of funny. I want to make him swim in here. What are you going? Oh my gosh, go look for frogs. And then you can have a whole froggo family. The thing is, you're both feeling fearless. However, look, this is so much like the movies. She's there walking over all like, okay, we're frogs. This is bad, but we can fix this. Like, we, we have a way to fix this. Whereas he's just like, oh, I want to be a Liplins again. I hate to be a Le frog. Tiana's boss is calling, but she's like, I can't come to the phone right now because I'm a frog, you know. What I was thinking is, oh my gosh, humans, humans, quick, hop away, hop away. Hop over here. Hop over here where you cannot be seen, okay? They have to go find, is it Mama, Mama Odie, Odie, Mama Odie, to get her advice and she will explain to them how they can stop being froggos. What I don't have is a guitar or a banjo playing alligator, which is real sad, but I was thinking if they can get through this magical tree, then they can get to Mama Odie and reverse the spell, turn back to being humans. However, I'm kind of vibing that the only way we can do this is to sneak around, so like sneak behind behind this tree now because if the humans see us then they'll they'll know they'll put us in a little a little frog box so we've got to kind of stay in the shadows stay hidey and only when nobody runs by are we allowed to like sneak out and try and work this tree and this is also obviously where even though Naveen look at Naveen's butt he has a full butt coming out right now even though he's a little bit lazy he does end up making his his spirit is high and it makes Tiana laugh a lot where she is much more like control freak like oh my gosh we need to fix this like la 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 she's really serious. He doesn't enjoy the serious side of her, but he really respects like her passion and her also talent in the kitchen. Like she's obviously amazing at cooking and also has a lot of ambition and he starts to kind of get on board with that. Oh my gosh, they were about to do a flirtation then. I'm just saying the flirtation was about to occur. However, I'm going to get her to be like, huh, this tree sure looks interessant. Explore it from back there though, because a bike is fatal for a frog, okay? If we go under those wheels, we become frog toothpaste and I don't not want to become a frog toothpaste. Oh my gosh, he's like, pow, 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 as a frog, like, pow, pow, pow. Actually kind of hilarious, but come on. We've got to figure this tree out, Naveen, okay? I feel like she sends him off to go and search for stuff. So you go ahead and like, oh my gosh, they literally cook mushrooms, I swear. Naveen, you go off and try and get us some food for the night because right now we have no food. She's far too uncomfortable. How are we gonna wee though? How are you gonna wee? You're $360. Can I get you a makeshift toilet? Oh, <gasps> a bush. How did I not think of that before? Only a freaking bush. You can wee in a bush. Yes, that is top tier frog behavior. Oh my gosh, be careful on the path. 
I don't think anyone is coming, but still. Frogs don't walk on paths. Frogs hop through the undergrowth. Have you never watched the animal planet? Like, what is wrong with you? Okay, she's off to go relieve herself. Oh, that's got her feeling flirty. Disturbing. That's good, though. You can go back to the tree. Have you got anything else you can go and harvest? No, you haven't. But we've got 10 mushrooms. Okay, come hop back over here and help me out. Oh my gosh, look at her walking right behind a mail carrier. Are you kidding? He will put you in in a box of Timbuk too. Have you never seen the Aristocats? Why are you walking slow? Oh, you're really hungry. And you're also quite sleepy. Okay, come and view this tree. I'm gonna get Naveen to present you with some lovely mushy rooms. Oh, she's got the option to water. This is awesome. This is exactly what we need. Okay, we're watering the strange tree in the bayou, which will bring us to Mama Odie. Is that anything? I don't know. I'm not very good at accents. I'm trying. I'm trying to spice it up for you because right now we're just watching two naked frogs water a tree. And both frogs are miserable about their frogtastic situation. This is where you'd burst into a song, like some kind of frog based don't be sad song. Obviously, I can't do that. I mean, can you can you guys sing to each other? Tiana, you're meant to be a Disney princess. If you sing, it might cheer up his mood, you know? Oh, you can't sing because you're too uncomfortable. However, oh my gosh. Oh! She gave him back a rose. That is actually really cute, okay? That's pretty sweet. And why don't you guys go ahead and eat your mushrooms? You've got a slice of cake in your inventory as well. So here they go, eating their mushrooms that they foraged in the wild. I don't know the last time I saw a frog whip out some cake from his pocket, but I respect the hustle. Naveen, if you want to keep investigating, I'm going to have to send Tiana off for a nap because she's in a... Oh, she's tired. And plus, it shows that Tiana's hard work ethic has rubbed off on the prince and he He's like, if she is trying so hard, look at her. She's exhausted. She's, oh my gosh, nearly got run over by a bike. You saw it. You saw how close she was to getting run over by the bike. But if she can work hard, then, you know, he's kind of like starting to be like, wow, this girl is pretty amazing. She's like this hard working, like chef and genius. Like I thought the life of not doing any hard work. <laughs> Is that his little face in the mouth? I thought this life of just like playing my banjo being a prince, chasing the ladies was the life for me. But I don't know, maybe watering plants. Maybe watering plants is even better. And oh my gosh, being a frog is tiring. I might have to get you all little camping beds or something. Or a tent. Can I get you a, t a frog tent? A green tent? Oh my gosh, yes. Look at that. A little tent. Okay, Naveen's done as much as he can. It's, oh, it's hard work getting you guys to do anything. Oh no, you're ready to water again because you're feeling romantic. Look at his frog butt. Okay, we're gonna watch his frog butt water this tree for a while. He can chat about the roots of the tree. This is good. We're moving on forward. Get some chatting about those roots done. The more we- No. What are these people doing? How can you talk to a frog, you weirdos? Stop even trying to do that. I'm frogging away trying real hard not to get involved with you. Disgust- Oh my gosh. <gasps> He's got the option to explore quick because people are starting to wonder why this frog is paying so much attention to this tree. Just having a casual discussion with a tree. But I think you're going to get the option to explore. <gasps> he has! Guys, Naveen's only gonna pull it out the bag. It was him that did it because Tiana was too tired. We didn't see it coming. Okay, he's off doing his hard work exploring. We're getting a little bit of shut eye. I'm gonna, oh, tree adventure. Okay, do we follow the sound or do we follow the light? I feel like frogs have good sense of our eyes. Good sense of eyes, but not good sense of ears. So we'll follow the light. <laughs> we will go and follow the light. Please move to the tent, babes. Oh, guys. Naveen follows the light and all too soon realized that it was coming from a place where he entered. Naveen, come on. You can really compliment it on its leaves, okay? You can definitely impress Tiana if it's you that manages to take us here, okay? Right now, we're just floating along the bayou on a little leaf like this. But Naveen is the one steering it with a little uh, long grass at the back. If he can figure out how to get there, Tiana will wake up and there she will be in the plane on Mama Odie's territory. Come on, Naveen. Why have you come straight back out again? What's all that? Oh, you're too uncomfortable because you're miserable about being a frog. Okay. You guys catch some shut eye, okay? It's hard life being a frog. Let's see if you wake up any happier. I really want Naveen to be the one that does it though, just because, you know, he needs to try and show that he's working hard. It's an important part of his character development. Tiana can wake up and eat some mushrooms. And since she's in too much of a bad mood, because they get this toadified gives them plus five and comfortable, and it's quite hard to get them out of it. She's thinking about her first kiss with a frog. Who'd have thought Tiana, the frog hater? She was literally not a big fan of the froggos, but yet here she is, staring at the stars, thinking about her first kiss. That's pretty romantic behavior. Why don't you guys do a little bit of stargazing together to see if 
if we can improve the moods, okay? He's like, why don't we look up at these stars? Get ourselves a little bit happier and we'll try and attack this tree again. I imagine when... <laughs> This is just such a hilarious scene. I can't actually believe this is what I'm recording today. But I feel like when you're a frog and you're lower to the ground, the stars, of which there are none, could look even further away. But maybe when you have someone at your side, lifting your spirits through this mental time, it makes the stars seem a little bit closer. I don't know. Oh my gosh, a ghost? A ghost? A ghost has just come and stand- oh! This is, this is just like in the movies. I didn't even do that. This is just happened on its own. But you know where the evil woo-woo -woo guy, not the woo-woo guy, he's a different guy. He's not, not him. The voo voodoo guy sends those spirits to try and like mess things up to make sure that Naveen doesn't manage to solve his curse. This is literally like, we need to call spirits sent to us. This is crazy. So we got a spirit. No, this is not good. The spirit's trying to scare us. He's rustling our tent. But as long as we lay low in the undergrowth together, watching the stars, maybe we can try and ignore it just for now. Who were you the ghost of? Who died? Who died? Kian. Oh, no freaking way. My own father. <laughs> My own father came to try and keep me as a frog forever. The voodoo dude must have like controlled his spirit. I'm sure Kian is so sad about this. His spirit has been used for means of which he has no control over. Oh, you guys are feeling cold as well. <laughs> oh no. Oh, cold little froggos. Why don't you try and warm up with body heat? Because you're cold little frogs in the rain. Try and keep each other warm even though you've literally just met and happened to go on this horrible adventure together and they're still miserable. None of these are making them feel as good as the codification is making them feel bad, which obviously not help, not helping me at all. <gasps> Oh my gosh, Tiana's inspired. Tiana's inspired. She's illuminated by the stars, but she doesn't have the explorer option yet. You need to try and get Kian in a good mood as well, okay? Not by electrocuting him. Discuss gourmet dishes with him. Talk about your love for food. Describe your crazy scheme about opening your restaurant one day. Talk about how fine cuisine and how you're a curry champion. And describe this amazing idea that you are gonna live on your dad, whose spirit just haunted us. You're gonna live on his dreams and open up Tiana's palace one day. Little Naveen, who's never had any dreams other than chasing the ladies with banjo, which sounds horrifying, is kind of like just in awe of this ambition and amazingness. Is it enough to stop him being miserable though? Let us find out. <gasps> oh my gosh, it actually was. Whoa! Guys, no, 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 no. You don't do that until later on in the film. Please don't jump ahead of time getting all confident. These guys literally have some crazy chemistry. I mean, we saw it in the movie. The whole time you were kind of like, oh, they're getting on each other's nerves so much. Like, she's, he finds her like so bossy and he finds that uh, she finds him so lazy underneath it all there was this crazy chemistry the whole time and why have he just come out again literally the one thing i'm finding helps is if i do this not try for a baby in a tent if i do this warm-up thing and they cold oh they're not cold anymore i'm gonna discuss fitness and stuff to try and get him like pumped up get him in a pumped up mood i think that's gonna help because he can't explore the tree when he's in a bad mood <gasps> okay he's playful he's playful he's playful please naveen we need you follow the sound we know it's the sound this time don't be following no light follow downstream or follow upstream uh let's go upstream oh they literally are on the bayou oh this is also perfect no oh my gosh it was downstream guys it was downstream get 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 back in quick 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 follow the sound go downstream no why are you back out oh <laughs> It's so hard trying to keep them happy enough to go. I just keep making him play in the rain. Because then if he gets playful, then I can send him in for a bit longer. Keep playing, keep playing. Also, when he gets cold, I have to get Tiana to warm him up with body heat. That seems to get him in a good mood as well. Quick, forget the mushrooms. Finally, you've woken up in a good mood. Please work in time. Because the thing is, I can't remove his toady, like his uncomfortable mood. Downstream. Because uh, his toadification will go along with it. Do we enter the mist or do we avoid it? Get into that mist, boy. Get. Oh, tree adventure is warm and friendly. Travel to the glade. Yeah. Yes! Finally! Oh my gosh, it's been like three Sims days of me being like, stargaze, stargaze. Talk about the future. Talk about ideas. Talk about inspiration. Talk about just cooking. Just talk. And then finally, the harpy. Okay, let's bring Tiana here as well. Knock, knock. Naveen has only gone and found Mama Odie's place. You guys must be so freaking happy because you can finally stop being froggos. Should I see if I can add Mama Odie? Let's see if anyone's made a good Mama Odie. Oh my gosh, you guys totally made them as well. Oh, you guys are so good. 
good. I could definitely see these two by Tay Tay J1313 and the Beard Sisters are both Mama Odie's. That is so cool. Okay, I double checked Mama Odie's appearance. She does look so much like both of them. But this one's got the earrings, so I'm gonna have this as the Mama Odie. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a whole boat on the bait by you, but I do have her in this pretty, like, it feels just as mystical and amazing as all the fireflies flying around. So I feel like we should definitely get a little froggy butts. Ribbit, she way over here, please. Hop on, hop over here. So I had to, like, read up to try and remember. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to replicate the story perfectly. In fact, as part of the Disney Princess series, I don't even technically have to do this, but I'm doing it just because, let's face it, it's pretty fun. So our two little froggos have come to come and speak to Madma Odie. Her advice in the movies was a whole song and dance production. I can't do that. I, I can't sing. I can't dance. So instead, I'm going to give her a message, which was she kind of realized that although Tiana saying, I want to be a human again so that I can open my restaurant and Naveen saying, I want to be a human again, human again so I can be a Jack the Lad Prince. She's kind of knowing that this journey, this, this journey, which has taken so much longer than I expected because you can't do much as an uncomfortable frog, never mind an uncomfortable sim. She knows that they need to dig over a little deeper into themselves and realize what has changed in their mindset over this time. For Naveen kind of realizing that maybe he doesn't want to just be Jack the Lord. Maybe Tiana's ambition and passion has inspired him for something more. Tiana realizing that, you know, maybe maybe there's more to life than just working hard. Maybe you can have a little bit of fun along the way, which Naveen, as he's showing us there, definitely is a little bit of fun. But also they've both kind of realized that despite the fact they're very different and they've been on a horrific froggy journey together, they've kind of started to develop a little, a few little feelings together for each other whilst they've been on this crazy little journey. Although Naveen does seem to understand Mama Odie's advice, Tiana misinterprets it and thinks that dig a little deeper means work even harder on the restaurant. So she's like, what are we doing here? We need to get back. It's Mardi Gras. We need to get back. If you kiss Charlotte, who's going to be the princess of Mardi Gras, then you can turn back into a human. We'll all turn, like this curse will be lifted. I'll turn back into a human as well. And I can start working on my restaurant. So she's like, we figured it out. We figured it out, Naveen. Let's get the butts home. So she's gone ahead and headed back. I will go ahead and get Naveen to head his little butt back as well. Although he's kind of been like, okay, but before I go back to my little, to my princey lifestyle away from my froggy butt, he's got a great butt for a frog. It has to be said, even when it's green. He's like, I want to tell Tiana how I really feel. Of course, we kind of know before all that happens though. Dr. Facilia, is it? Takes her to the, well, he kidnaps her and he kind of shows her the old sugar mill. This is how it looks currently. Pretty much run down. But he shows her how it could look, how she could make it into Tiana's place. How she could make this old sugar mill into the restaurant her father always wanted to open. Being like, do you really want to die like your father without having achieved your dreams? This was the most important thing in your father's life. Yet he could not achieve it. You are going to be going the exact same way. Of of course though, we know. And Tiana knows. She's like, actually, the most important thing in the whole world to my father was me. Me, Tiana, and my mother Cinderella. Definitely didn't actually say that in the movie. But that's what he said in this. So she knows the whole thing is a lie. And this is why in the movie, she breaks a talisman. I obviously don't have a talisman in The Sims. Oh my gosh, literally, as they were fighting, he just turned into his vampire form. Literally just to look even spookier. Oh, this game is so free. It understands my brain so much because this is also where she ends up using her little, little froggy tongue to fight him. I honestly don't know why I'm going to... Oh! Oh, wow! Fight! Okay, they're fighting all on their own. Literally a frog fighting a vampire. It doesn't feel very fair to me. I didn't realize that there's a different animation for vampire fights in this game. Like, seriously? It's fine though, because we don't, we're not trying to beat him. Oh, she beat him anyway. Yes. All we're trying to do is break his talisman, which I feel like is something we definitely did. However, this is when the spirits come and take you away, son. So the spirits are going to come out and take you away. Unfortunately, I have to do it from overexposure to the sun. I've never seen a vampire die like this either. But Pretend these are spirits. These are the evil spirits that he tried to use. If you've not watched the film, this is probably gonna make so little sense to you. But basically, he sends evil spirits to try and stop or kill Tiana and Naveen. Or to capture Naveen. And what happens instead is because he doesn't manage it, they come back and bite him in the butt and he gets dragged away. So that is exactly what ha what's happened. And Tiana does break the talisman in the movie as well. So she can go rushing back to Naveen. So my little frogologs are gonna hop, hop off of the way to... You guys said she was Lottie. Is she Lottie in the movie? Charlotte LaBeouf, basically. 
basically Lottie's house. So while these guys are getting ready for a little Mardi Gras celebration in here, I know the spell ends at midnight, but we're gonna pretend it ends at midday just because we've had an awful lot of nighttime in this. I would like some daytime, please. We got everybody having a little celebration here, taking out the trash and everything, but we kind of need Lottie to just sort of, you know, come outside for a quick sec. So I'm gonna call her over, see if she hears us with my little frog voice like, what? Okay, Lottie is coming outside. Quick, quick, quick. You need to come out here for a second. We need to explain this whole frogtastic situation to you because it's not great. Look how tired she is. She is so drained right now. And we're like, look, we need you to go ahead and kiss this frog. There was the whole thing where she was about to marry the old guy that was like disguised as Naveen, which is super gross. I didn't do that, but it's fine because the other guy's dead now. So that I feel like that spell would have lifted as well because this is the part where she gets super excited. Like, oh my gosh, yes, I get to kiss a prince. I'll get to kiss a prince. So even though he does do a healing kiss, uh, try and do a healing kiss with Charlotte. Don't worry, that doesn't mean anything. Literally just happens in the movie. He is unfortunately still very, very frog-like. It hasn't worked, you guys. It never really explains in the movie whether it didn't work because she, a princess of Mardi Gras is not a real princess or whether it was after 12, but it's fine because what happens is these little two cutie pies run off and have like a little froggy kind of marriage instead. And then because she then has this whole marriage with him as a frog and he's a prince, she actually becomes a princess so that when they do kiss, it does lift the curse. So that's kind of how they get around it. So the two of them all loved up. I'm gonna go ahead, <laughs> a lot of traveling in this episode, but I'm gonna go ahead and send them back to the glade, back to the glade we go. And then obviously the two of them in the movie have their like froggy wedding, which isn't actually like a an official well it is an official wedding because they stopped being frogs but i feel like later on they like down the line they have a human wedding if you like but for now it is just a cute little froggy elope just so that they can stop being frogs because like i don't know who wants to be a froggo forever probably no one <laughs> probably nobody wants to be a little froggo forever i don't know how they're gonna do rings as frogs i feel like you could probably put the ring across the froggo's whole head i also feel like tiana's very sick of eating flies at this point i would quite like some proper home cooked food. Is that a red ring? That ring literally is red. Wow. I don't know what he's made that from, but there. Frogo wedding done. Because she is now a princess and he married her, that means that he has had the toadification spell removed from him. And here he is back in his human prince form. The only thing I've changed, by the way, is his eyes to green. Because as part of the challenge, you have to marry, they have to have something green about their appearance. So there he is in his little clothes, also wearing the same outfit that he was wearing when they got married in froggy form in the movie. And then of course, Tiana turning back into a human as well. I love this dress that she wears in the film. When I saw that she didn't wear the same dress to get married, I was like, no! This is literally the prettiest dress. I have one pretty similar, uh, so I thought we'd put that on them. Just so they could look like a proper little prince and princess. And then of course, you guys need to do the kiss! This kiss! Right here in their adorable rig outs is the one I'm talking about. So please go ahead and replicate that so we can all have closure for a oh, wow. I mean, wow, you, you went even further, even more all out. Maybe something a little bit less, you know, dramatic. Okay, there we go. That's all I was looking for, gang. Not a whole dip kiss. We, <laughs> we've had enough dip kisses to last us a long time on this channel. And there we go. Naveen and Tiana are... Frogo married and back into their human forms, which means in the next episode, with the prince's riches, I can at least go ahead and turn the restaurant, the old sugar mill, we can buy that as a couple. I can turn it into Hatsi YT, if you search on the gallery, she's another YouTuber. I can switch it to her design, which I'll be using for this. And we can start the top of Rex to Riches when we build this restaurant and build it and like actually start running the restaurant, which I'm super excited for later on as well. I will go ahead and give them a proper human wedding as well, if that's something you guys want want to see. This episode, I know it was kind of froggy and mental, but I needed to do it as part of the challenge. So, well, I didn't actually. I didn't have to do it as part of the challenge at all, but I wanted to do it for you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big cheeky thumbs up. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Let me know what you think about Tiana's beautiful, beautiful green dress and her gorgeous like look for her wedding. I know I could, I should have given her a crown, but I couldn't do a veil and a crown and the veil was just so magnificent that I had to do it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up and I'll See you guys in another video. Bye!